play ball, never a wall, or they mad now, cause they lost. That's on you, not on me. Lately, my phone on DND. I try to get, I try to get, I try to get, to get some peace, that's all I need. I try to get, I try to get, I try to get. To get some peace, that's all I need My phone right back on d and It's like only rest if I R.I.P I got my wife, I got my kids Probably got a few friends that I don't need Not fake, never been fraud Been great They will show you points of interest such as where they kept the leadership and specifically Mr. Mandela's cell because most people want to know about things <coughs> like that. But the main focus of the tour is their personal story. For 18 years here on home. Because there are no toilet. What gave it away? Yeah, beautiful accent. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm from Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's like you say, I'm from Jamaica. I heard I. Yeah, I thought you said I am from Jamaica. I like, where are the rest of you from? She's bubbly. The bubbly is. Daughters of the mm -hmm. owners of the farm. Okay. And she's our bubbles, so it was given to us as a gift for her birthday, this range. Oh, okay. And it's a mix of Chenin Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, but Prosecco style. So not too dry, not too sweet, really nice and bubbly and very fresh. Okay. So yeah. perfect breakfast wine on this beautiful oh. Wednesday morning. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's actually good. Yeah. What's your outdoor? Oh, nice. Sit nice. Yeah, it's like something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just just I just it I just I Skin contact 6 to 8 hours and it has been on the list for 18 months. So you're gonna okay. get Turkish light, candy fruit, so it's cherries and some ripe cherry. So the palate is crispy and it's fruity. And then your second wine, it's a Savo Blanc. It is 2022, it is same as theirs. Give you an hour to enjoy this wine farm. Please remember to settle your goals 10 to 15 minutes before collection and your next collection will be at 16. 
At 16, okay, please make sure that you are back. 08, actually. 1608. my god it has been a hell of uh 32 hours 32 it might be 32 hours nearly 36 hours first of all the delays in the flight and then i went from detroit to amsterdam missed my flight in Amsterdam, not my fault, the airline's fault because they made us switch planes. Then I had to go to London and then to Cape Town. Finally made it to Cape Town. It was like after eight in the morning. I had an excursion. We went to um, the Robin Island where we got to see um, Nelson Mandela's cell that he stayed in for 18 years. And we learned about the island itself, the history of apartheid in South Africa. Y'all, that is a, a must experience type of thing. To be on the island and to actually hear stories from a former prisoner. Like, this isn't just a textbook. This is primary on the scene type source and then after that i was just dead tired because the excursion was at 11 o'clock i landed at 8 and rushed through the airport got to the airbnb got ready and met up with the girls for the excursion on time <laughs> after that we went to this place called um i think harbor harbor restaurant or something like that we had lunch and then my body started to be like it was crashing like jet lag caught up with my ass and i slept until midnight and it was too late to do anything and then i was still too tired i didn't sleep much last night as soon as i got up i had to like be on the move i didn't even introduce the vlog this morning before we went on the wine tram so we visited the wine lands of cape town beautiful but i would recommend if you're gonna come here ornery was good but it was a little bit underwhelming in the beginning and our line was the navy line because they have different lines like to different wineries different days of the week i would say if you're gonna do it do the blue line because i saw tiktok on the blue line and the the wine yards on the blue line stunning but none of those were on for today so it depends on the day of the week we went on a wednesday so look up whenever the blue line is which day that is because we just went with the most convenient day to do it and the weather was gorgeous it was hot the wines that we tried i didn't get drunk because i didn't really eat this morning so i was taking it easy but it wasn't the type of uh you know a lot of times you drink wine you might get wine headache or something like that so right now we're gonna go out for dinner this mexican place that's like down the street from our airbnb so we're gonna have us a little drinky drink some food so i have a refresh my girl since i've gotten here i just put it up in a ponytail because most of the days i was in a rush the most like standout thing for me was South Africa is a lot of the history here and um, from a physical look point of view beautiful beautiful in terms of like the mountains like it's a lot of mountains here and it's just stunning of course as a political science major and all of that I can't help to look at the socioeconomic structure of the the city, especially knowing the history that it has. You know, there's a lot of white, so white, a lot of white South Africans in Cape Town, and just seeing the dynamic of the people, 
and um, just seeing that there's a lot of white people in Cape Town, like white people outnumber black people in Cape Town. And the black people that you see here locally are service um, workers that we've seen. And it's a lot of homeless people. A lot of homeless people in Cape Town. I was like, damn. This is sad. Knowing the history, knowing the economic, social, racial structure of the society in Cape Town, just like. You know, it's a lot of sobering and a lot of stares. I don't know if. Um, I don't think it's from local, I don't know the, the, the local people that we met were really nice. Really nice people. But like when we went on the like wine tram or any excursion and stuff, well not the Robin, the Robin Island. <laughs> I can't imagine the white people on the Robin Island being weird, but like, I feel like it's typical with like black people when we go on vacation, especially me, people like me, you know, like this is a job, social media, traveling, whatnot, I love looking. You know, good when I go on vacation, like looking different and stuff. So, you know, when you go on these excursions, people just stare, like, oh my god, what's the occasion? It's like, the occasion is I'm on vacation. That's it. I'm celebrating life. And I just want to come on vacation. And for me personally, I don't know about everybody else. I'm going to go on vacation in tennis shoes, some shirt that I found at some random ass place. And shorts, even when I didn't have money like that, if I'm going somewhere, always instilled in me from my grandma, you dress nice, you dress presentable, you know? You dress different. There's no way I'm gonna just dress like I'm at my yard while I'm on vacation. It's just not gonna happen. So you're like, we, we got a lot of those stares. Like, look, some were pleasant, you know? Like, oh my God, you guys look so beautiful. Others were like, Just the insistent stare. There was this one couple. It was a stare, but I didn't know if it was a stare like, mm, or a stare of just looking because they're fascinated by what I was wearing. I was wearing a um, blue and white set that I got from her, not blue and white, blue and green set that I got from her valve. So I don't know if it was like a look at like, wow, that's a beautiful set, or it's like, oh my God, these black people are so extra. <laughs> you know, I couldn't, I couldn't. Tell until we got to one of the stops and the lady was like, oh my god, you guys look so beautiful. I was admiring you and your Jack Muse bag. My daughter has a Jack Muse bag. Very because she's she's from France. <laughs> she's from France. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, like I get it. So you were looking because you know, like you like to open and stuff. But it was just like uh, I can't I can't tell what kind of steer it was. I, I just couldn't tell. So then after that she just called me Miss Jack Muse. <laughs> after she see me again. So I was like <laughs> me personally, I don't care who you are. You see it's I'm in a space, whether I paid for that space, I or I occupy that space with my presence. You shall not think or deem yourself better than me in that space no matter if you have more money if you think you have more money than me even if you do you don't i don't care and it goes for me too with people in my space it doesn't matter the racial background and economic status you will respect my presence whether you think i deserve to be there or you're wondering if i should be there or not I grew up with that air like you might think I don't belong here but I'm here so I clearly belong. <laughs> but in Bucha, um we just refreshed it. Look how cute that is after I refreshed it. Mmm.
so through with you Okay, I'm on phone. A quick little beat. Hey, Good morning. We are about to go to brunch. Um, I gotta get myself together. Last night I didn't bring my camera to the restaurant because we actually walked there. And for and I was carrying a little purse, so for safety reasons, I left my camera since I'll be walking and we would be coming back during the time of load shedding. That's when like they turn off the lights, like the power goes. So I'm like, we ain't gonna walk in the dark. And I got this big ass camera. So right now we're gonna do brunch. Um, I'm gonna refresh my hair again, do a light makeup, and we're gonna put on something cutesy because after brunch we're gonna go to um, this, um, what is it called? Bull cap? Bull cap? Jesus, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but this is our outfit that we're wearing to take pictures there. I was gonna go with, go with a more colorful outfit, but the look was a little bit too skimpy. So I'm like, you know what? Even though it's colorful and it's cute for the houses, we're just gonna do denim and go orange. And the pop of color is like speaking to me. But we're definitely gonna wear these earrings because these are like one of my favorite earrings. I don't wear them enough. So we're about to wear that. But it's this place that has like really beautiful, colorful um, buildings. It has a historic background. So we're gonna go there, check it out, see a lot of good stuff, and see where the day takes us. All right, the sun. Yo, we're right by the road. Be nice. The sun today is sunny. Okay, I can feel the heat, the humidity. Shall I walk on a car on Toyota? Yeah. See me here. It means for it means for put on the AC. I don't know why I'm the window here though. It means for why not the window? They want turn on the AC. That's in me for the first stop. Huh? Uh, hello. Good I don't know what to get. Push egg out one time and cook, but inside, runny, right? Like they drop it in the hot water and then take it off. How exactly is this a mama or something? Because it's a wine or apple juice. Is that press press it or anything? But you know all the apple just make it flat. That's the problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
sun looks so pretty coming through here. What the hell is that? We just came back from the quad biking. The sun tired me the hell out. So I couldn't freaking bring my drone in. It's against their rules. So I really wanted to do a drone shot because it was so, 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 so pretty. But they didn't allow me to use a drone. So I had to leave it behind. And um yeah, but I got some I got some videos on my iPhone that I'm gonna put in here so y'all probably saw that. It was so fun, so bright and stuff. I feel like the hour was so short though. Cause I've done um ATV in different places. I don't it feels really short. I don't know because um it was a group of us that were taking pictures and whatnot. It was an hour drive though. So we we did more driving getting there than actually being there because it took us an hour to get there, an hour to come back. So two hours of my life. Um, we're gonna go dinner tonight to, we're doing African, South African food tonight. Tired of the pasta, tired of um, prawns. I've been eating prawns since I've been here. No more mussels. The mussels are delicious though. I think I overindulged in the mussels since I've been here. So we're gonna do some South Af traditional South African food. Um, the area that I'm staying in, I think it's because the area, what is close, we wanted somewhere that we could eat close to our Airbnb. So we're in the C Point area and there's a bunch of shops, a supermarket around the street, all of that. So, um, with that being said, this type of community is predominantly white. Actually, it's white. <laughs> so, um, you know, most of the food places isn't giving traditional uh, food it's touristy and stuff um what else what else what else what else i think that's it for the day you uh, my my monthly came this morning oh my god <laughs> today's my first day so my first day i'm usually just drained my second day is i'm irritated af tomorrow's gonna be gonna be a beach day so i'm supposed to be chill and mellow tomorrow but we'll see, we'll see. So I'm gonna have a shower. I'm gonna lie down. I have some time. I'm gonna do about my makeup because um yeah, I can't wear this sweaty ass face. I can't wear this sweaty face tonight. It's cute still though, but look at all that marking and stuff. So I'm gonna do a light pretty face later, but right now I'm gonna wash off, lie down, relax a little bit, you know. Welcome to my happy guest. I'm washing your hands with warm water. Warm water means warm welcome.
if y'all can hear me. It's beach day and we're at Cabo Beach Club. to this beach club called Cabo Beach Club we spent the day there such a vibe and then now we are going to dinner and then we're gonna hit the club it's a Friday night we want to see what nightlife is Cape Town is all about so we're gonna hit up this club I forgot what it's called but we get there or in this video I'm gonna put the name of it so you'll know but I'm, I'm gonna wear this dress that I got from H&M like a guns ago i don't even know how to put on a dress because it looks complicated af i kept my makeup on that i had on earlier and i'm like ridiculous i'm just gonna put on this lip liner this is mac chestnut just slightly overline my lips and then i'm going to press my powder into my face using the mac studio Fix. Pat that in there. Like all day in the sun, everything. I need to fix underneath my eye. Your girl creases a lot. We can't go anywhere without a little bit of blush. I'm gonna pat this right here. So I have this all over glow balm, glow balm. We're gonna put that all over. So I tried it like twice. It didn't give me a long stay. Ah. But I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna try it a few more times. So I got this little brush, and then we're gonna see if over time. It does what it needs to do. Cause can y'all see? Cause I can't. Perfume. Let's go.
are at what is near one large what's that large aquila safari. large safari hotel large thing in madrid and we're having lunch before our safari <laughs> I'm having a little rice and chicken bread. and bread. I'm going to order a combination of go and a piece of cake. Oh, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. You probably seen before. 12.45 or 12.45. 12.45. What? I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. So I will be your guide for the safari. The safari will take up to two hours, two and a half hours, depending on the animal you see. That's why I went outside so they will be sitting up for some shade. There's not a lot of trees here, so they will be between the bushes. It will be quite difficult for me to see them because I will be driving the vehicle. So if you do see them, please you're more than welcome to stop me. Don't be shy, okay? Yeah. Aquila is quite big. 10,000 hectares big, which amounts to 25,000 acres. So all the animals inside here are roaming freely around except the lions. The lions are an enclosure, but I will give you a briefing once we get by the lions, okay? So you all are aware of the big five? Yeah. You know the big five? Five are the buffalo, the rhino, the elephant, lion and the leopard. When we approach these animals, please no loud noises. No arms and hands outside the vehicle at all times. Because we don't know what to expect from these animals. We are not meals on wheels, right? <laughs> not a free meal. So just keep in mind to keep your arms and hands inside the vehicle. Quite bumpy due to the rain we had. So it's going to be very, very bumpy. What I need from you is to hold on and enjoy the hands-free back massage. <laughs> well, you all enjoy the safari. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They don't eat meat. So they will just kill you and leave you for other predators to eat. We call the hippopotamus the rubber horse or the horse of the rubber. Because they walk underneath the water. Hippos are too heavy and they have short legs. So they can't swim. That's why we call them a rubber horse because they walk underneath the water. Same like a ballerina, tiptoeing the whole way. Zebras are the most social animals in the wild. They can hang out with any animals in the wild, except predators. We call it a symbiotic relationship. They have with the other animals. They will be the eyes and the ears for the other animals. They will alert them when there's any danger nearby. They always hang out with the rhinos. Rhinos is a very poor eyesight, so they will be the eyes for the rhinos. Longer thicker neck, females a longer thinner neck. lion enclosure we have one lion here and three lionesses it will be quite difficult to see them because they will be up in the mountains because of the antelopes there's a lot of antelopes inside here that they hunt by themselves they have to use their own instincts but we supplement feed them as well once or twice per week because we rescue the lions we have here you all know what is cage hunting cage hunting where people breed with animals in smaller enclosures and hunt them for a sport, a trophy hunting. We rescue the lions from that place, so now we try to give them a better life. That's why we supplement feed them once or twice per week. So the reason why we keep them inside this enclosure is because of the horseback safari and the quad bike safari. If the lions were outside, dead people would have been meals on wheels, and we don't want that. Also, no animals for us to see when doing a safari. So now we keep them inside, fenced down with electric wires. There's also wires laying in front by the gate. So when the gate is open, 
They can't come outside, then animals can't go inside. So just remember when we go inside, keep your belongings safe with you. If it falls down the vehicle, I won't be able to get it back for you. No loud noises, and no arms and hands outside the vehicle at all times, okay? And no calling the lions, please. Today we'll be traveling through from Signal Hill all the way through to the tip of Africa, no, not the tip of Africa, but the most southern western tip of Africa, otherwise known as Cape Point, as well as Cape Aquilo, okay? We currently over here, we're going to go from here to city center in an area called Buonka, which means above oh. the Cape. You'll then have 25 to 30 minutes over there where you can take pictures galore, okay? okay? When we're done there, we'll head over to Hard Bay where you basically take a ferry that will lead you to a seal island and then you'll come back. From there, we continue and go through to Chapman's Peak Drive. Then we get to my neck of the woods in an area called Nordok. I'll run you through all of that. And then we continue to Simonstown, Glencoe and Simonstown. Simonstown, that's where we're stopping for lunch at an area called Seaforth, okay? Straight after lunch, I'm not starting the vehicle. You use your feet, it's down the road, it's five minutes. You have the time of your life, you can push your foot down. <laughs> African in Dutch is Afrikaner. And that's where the white race of Afrikaners actually comes from. And you'll notice this because why? All of them actually have European surnames. So if they're of French descent, it'll be Leroux, De Villiers, uh, Porta, etc. And if they're of German descent, it'll be Muller, Becker, etc. That's how it is. So that's why you have Johan Becker. You're like, but you're from South Africa? Yeah, yeah, from South Africa. How? Because he's a descendant of the Europeans that were here. Okay? So these kids now get trained up and they get put into key personnel positions of the economy, both in government. At this point, you must understand, South Africa is a mining conglomerate in these following states. You've got Northwest, Free State, uh, a bit of Lesotho, the Usutu Fine, mm. and you've got KZN, Gauteng, Umalanga. These entire regions are making a fortune, okay? And all these mining companies are under one company called the Old Transvaal Company. Now, if you come towards us, there's a white building red roof. Can you see that? Yeah. Then directly in front of that, there's a pentagon-like building, which has got three walls, dark skin.
hiked from all the way down there. All the way down there. We made it. <laughs> we made it in sandals because I didn't know we were going to do this climb. In sandals. But I'm proud of myself that I did it. Ooh. Ooh, child. 